Hey Housemate friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are at Zamzo's and I'm going to give you a houseplant tour of their houseplant section. So here we have a really big jade plant which has some stress colors on it right now. It's really, really, really pretty. This whole thing is only going for $64, which is a really good price. Here we have some fun plants. These are variegated Hoya carii, but these are tough because there's no insurance that these will ever actually grow into plants. They can just stay hearts forever, but sometimes they can grow. Then we have some, these are string of pearls. These look variegated, but I don't think that they are. I think that they're just suffering from like some malnutrition or something. Yep, these ones are 20, almost $20 with tax. But they're really cute. Then over here we have a cute, beautiful little cactus for $5. I really, really like this one. I think it's really nice. And then we have a couple of Shavarias. Like that is so cute. Blue cactus guy right here, which is a Pyloceras azurus. And we also have some bigger string of dolphins basket. This is $27.99. It's very big. It's really nice though. So here we have some smaller pots of string of dolphins, which look really, really nice. We have a really, really big Echeveria. Here's a really nice, bigger string of dolphins. A bigger string of dolphins? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then moving on to this shelf, we have on the bottom, just these massive string of pearl plants. Like, so big. And they're all like craning for the sun. It looks really funky. These are $33.99. Yeah, I know, right? We have some string of hearts, which are just beautiful as always. These are $39.99. Then we have, I believe this is Peperomia. This is Angulata. I've never seen these in a basket before. But look at their patterns. It looks so nice. Lipstick plant. I don't know if it will say what kind. It does not say. This is $16.99. So big and beautiful. Poya Carnosa Pubicalix. With kind of more splashy than spotty, which is what everyone loves in their pubic helix, so looks really nice. Brazil for ten dollars. I appreciate the prices are going down on these because I really, really like philodendron Brazil right now. Some beautiful ivy looks so good. I feel like since filming through my camera. I'm gaining a newer appreciation. What is this? It's a string of, but I don't think I've ever seen like green beans or something. I don't know. Over here, we have a Maranta Luconura, which is just beautiful. I love the pink tones that manifest in the plant. It looks so pretty. Look at those little leaves. Here's my nail for scale, how little that is. And then we have, I remembered how to say it, it's Heteraceum, Philodendron Heteraceum. The common name is Scandens. Um, and then a bunch of Syngonium also for ten dollars then moving our way this way we have a shiflera which is really nice 
This is thirty dollars for this whole big chiffre. Here's my hand for scale, and we have a ficus fiddly fig tree, which is sixty dollars, <laughs> which is pretty standard price, I feel like. And we have a thematophyllum by Penifolium, which is really nice. It actually looks like it's in really good condition. Just put out a new leaf. Over here, we have a couple different crown of thorns. We have the pink variety and the yellow variety. And then a ponytail palm. We have a couple little ZZ plants here. These guys are $15, which is a little expensive. And this looks like an aloe. Alistriata. Interesting. It's got like a sharp edge. Then we have some Christmas or Christmas cactus, but there's like a hundred different kinds of Christmas cactus, so it's hard to know. Then here we have some Haworthias. It's both very nice. This one looks like it's Haworthia zebrina, but it's not. It's like dotted. We have some false Aurelia. Or false chiffler, I guess. Um, look at how pretty that Christmas cactus looks. And spider plants, some more lips lipstick plants, peperomia, happy bean. So fun. Then up here we have a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, which is so incredibly beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite common house plants that exists out in the world. I have three of them. Here is another version, which I think honestly is prettier. It looks like we also have a crimson queen. So the queen is when the variegation occurs from the outside and moves in. And the princess is when the it occurs on the inside and moves out. And you can think of it like the queen wears the crown, which goes on the outside of the leaf. The princess has it in her heart. Then we, it looks like we do have some silvery Anne for $11.99, which is a really good price. I think a succulent day is selling them for about the same. Tucked way back here in secret, we do have Hoya Carnosa Compacta, but it doesn't really look like, oh, it is growing. We do have two pretty new leaves. Cute. We also have some of these lipstick plants. I believe these are called the Black Pagoda. The other side is supposed to be red, but they could just be experienced. Yeah, there we go. The underside is always this red, pretty color. We have some bird's nest ferns. Oh, look at that one. Look at it. So cute. And then some staghorn ferns. These are $7.99. These are also really cute. I think I got my staghorn from... Oh, no, I got it from Edwards. These are really nice, though. Moving our way this way, we have some palms. I do not know what kind. Of, these might be majesty palms for $3. Some big old Monstera Deliciosa in the window. These are $51.99. That's a really confusing price. We have some... I believe these are asparagus ferns. These. Has a hard time picking what to focus on. Then we also have some Fetonia, and these are so nice. Fetonia are really dramatic plants though, so if you get one, like one and then don't water it when you're supposed to, it will just kind of go flaccid on you, but. That's just what they do. Then we have some Philodendron Hedricatum again, or the Hartley Philodendron, or Philodendron Scandens. This is Wire Vine, Angel Vine. These are $3.99, all these plants. We have some Crotons right here. Different kinds of coleus, which I'm not really into, so I'm not really gonna talk about it. And then some Burgundy Peperomia. Look at this, this is a staked Monstera Deliciosa. Super beautiful, the leaves are really, really, really nice. It's 
a very full plant that you can see that they actually have a tie right here to keep it from opening up. But the shape of these, the leaves on this plant in particular is really nice. I have been sitting in a chair in a classroom for hours, for about 10 hours now, so my back is not having fun with me right now. But we have some beautiful, this is more Crimson Princess, but it's got a very, very strong splash to it and pink. And then we also have some Peperomia obovata. This is the variegated variety. Down here we have some Peperomia rosso. It's just a very, very hardy and splendid looking plant. It has a really interesting like sea green color on top and then red underneath the leaves. An interesting kind of peperomia. It says ripple assorted, but that is not a ripple peperomia. It looks like there's like a piccolo banda that died in there. Interesting. Should I take the leaf home and try to root it? No, it's... Is there one of these here? I'll cry. If there's one of these here, I'll take the leaf home and try to save it. Moving forward, I wish we knew what this peperomia was called. That would be nice and helpful. It's very succulent. Yeah, peperomia ripple. Someone let me know what that is called in the comments. We have some strawberry begonia. This is a money tree. Cute. It's a braided one too. $15. This is Oxalis. It's a different variety than what people normally see Oxalis is, but I think it's really nice. It's a little too messy for my taste, but a lot of people like messier plants, so. Then we have some Syngonium Berry Illusion. Could also be a Grape Illusion. It's hard to remember all the different kinds of illusions there are. And some Schifflera coffee plants. I think this is a cat palm. I'm trying to learn my palms, guys, I swear. Then, wow, look at this. We have some really pretty, look good looking. You know, this is a different kind of Hoya Carnosa Compacta. I've seen pictures of this. It's got, um, the, the leaves are thinner than just a regular Hoya Carnosa, and then they crinkle differently. It's too bad you can't get a Zamzo's credit card, man. That's really nice, though. I like how it looks. Try to give you better light. It's just so much more delicate than that. So I don't know. Those are $20. Then we have, oh my gosh, you guys, my back. <laughs> we have watermelon peperomia. These are really big. Here's my hand for scale. And a big couple of hanging baskets. Ooh, this begonia. Let me put it right here. This begonia is beautiful. It's uh, iridescent. I don't know if you can see, but it's iridescent. The back is bright pink. And here's its flower. Wow. It almost looks like one that I've been watching on eBay. It's shiny. I don't know if you can see that, but. That is so beautiful. Look at the iridescence. It's also velvet on the top. That's crazy. How much are they selling this for? $34. Yeah, I cannot afford that right now, but it's the name of the game. So pretty though, wow. I'm jealous, jealous of whoever buys it. I'm gonna put it right here because it doesn't need that kind of bright light, direct bright light. Ooh, we have some river trees. So these are, I believe they're called Rubita and these are Taniki or Taneki. Um, and these guys are going for, is that really $10? You gotta be missing a number, $39.99. 
So are they going off pot size? Oh, this is a bigger plant. Interesting. So this is a $10 uh, rubber tree, which is an insane price, especially for how good the variegation looks. That looks really, really nice. And then the Rubita is three plants in this pot for $39.99. We also have some Cryptanthus. I like to do kind of like a zoom out deal with these just because it looks so trippy. Okay, moving our way over here, we have some, I believe it's either a Prince of Orange or a Macaulay's Finale. And then this looks like a black cardinal. We have some Ginny Sports right here, so they're not the regular Ginny, but they're a different kind of variegation. Kind of how this is also a type of variegated obovada, but it's not the same as the earlier one. Then, this is crazy. Look at this. They have the bat flower plant. I'll do an overlay of what this is supposed to look like, but it's amazing. And if you just kind of like looking at it, if you don't know what it is, you might think it's a peace lily but it's actually the bat flower. Sorry, I just can't get over that they have a bat flower at a freaking big box store. Imagine seeing that in your Home Depot. I'm sure some of you have. Um, we have some cyclamen, which I am very bad at taking care of, but I guess so is everyone. And then polka dot plants. We have two versions. We have the pink one like this and the dark pink one. I like how these look when you do a slow pan. I think it looks really cool. So the Congo Rojo oh, is just completely beautiful. I love it. The leaves look super nice. And then we have some Aglionema. I know some of you hate that I literally never talk about Aglionema in my videos, but we have this variety, which has got kind of more silver on its leaves. We also have this variety, which is really nice too. I'm not an Aglionema person though. This is the exact same as the one we just looked at. And then this one, which is a little different from this variety, but still kind of like sister species. We have a couple of immature Monstera Deliciosa. Um, and then of course, mismatching my socks again. We have this beautiful begonia, which is the silver color and pink. And the new leaves come in just silver. So beautiful. Some different Rex begonias. I don't have a name for these variety, but they're really, really nice. We have some zebra plants. We have a bird of paradise, but like little version. There's three of them in there, and that costs $24. Super pretty. Here is it, Ficus Benjamina Vergata, which is so nice. Some more smaller Aglionema, $12.99 for these bad boys. We have Calathea Macayana, which I love. You can see the detail in just the leaf. All those tiny little lines are just so beautiful. And then you have this beautiful medallion Calathea, and I just, I can't, I love it so much. We have, I believe, so I wanna say this is a Fatsy Japonica, but I don't think it is. It's like a different kind, it's all curly. It's really interesting to look at, actually. And then some big old Fatsias, I believe or a relative of the Fatsia Japonica. And we have a Xanadu. These guys are wild looking. Then coming over here, we're looking at just a heck ton of ferns. So we have baskets of staghorn ferns. Super nice. You can see all the little like dust on the plant. Don't rub that dust off, that's part of the plant some regular ferns. This might be rabbit's foot. Some little coffee plants. Just got watered, they're feeling a little heavy. Some more terrarium plants. Some baby tears right here. Some, what was this, angel vine? And this is an interesting fern. I don't think I've ever seen this species before. It grows out in almost five lobes. So one, two, three, four, five. Super nice. Our last area. Ooh, I cannot, I know that 
my excitement's like underwhelming because I just got out of a like I just got out of a 10 hour long class can you tell that I'm drained I wanted to come look at plants and we just so happened to find a variegated cast iron plant which is an exceptionally rare variety of house plant they're not crazy rare you know but they're still they're hard to find and they're expensive when you do find them. The variegated variety are exceptionally more expensive than the other ones. But because we're at a big box store, you know, this is the price of cast iron plants everywhere. If we were at a nursery, this would probably be, I saw one for sale in Salt Lake, a variegated one for $200. It just depends on where you can find them. But I, this plant is very toxic, so I won't be bringing it home to my house just because Raven sometimes noms on a couple leaves. Like she'll just take a little bite into one and this is an especially ver uh, toxic variety. So I won't be bringing that home into my house. But We have some snake plants. A couple of these are labeled. So this says honey eye. Um, they all say honey eye. <laughs> Every single one of these is the same. <laughs> yeah, very, very nice, healthy looking plants. them a lot and then as we pan you will see a sea foam or moonshine you know whatever you want to refer to them as these are harder to find and generally more expensive sans severia people kind of lose their minds over these ones i don't know why they come out looking this minty green color but i know that it literally drives everyone crazy <laughs> We have three of these plants. They are each $27.99. And then we have some more Calathea macchiana. These ones are only $14.99. The other ones were like $25. So that's a nice step down in price. And we got a little baby rattlesnake Calathea, $15.99. Looks so beautiful. It's so cute. I love immature plants. They're so nice. Here you can see we have another regular cast iron plant. And then a cute little variegated one. It does look like this plant is suffering from something right now, but you know, that's just kind of what you do when you get big box store plants. So yeah, and that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our tour. Thank you guys so much for watching this house plant tour. Please make sure to leave a like, please subscribe, please tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. I spent about an hour and a half of my time here making sure to take really nice shots. The staff was very nice, didn't bother me, totally let me just film. So um, if you guys want to keep seeing more high quality content like this, please make sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you would have preferred to see more of, what you guys think I can do better. And thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube channel. I just want to let you guys know I do have affiliate links in my description now. So all of you real ones who are still watching, um, you can check out my description. And if you're looking for anything in the houseplant world and you're low on soil or you need new latex gloves or new shears or a humidifier, all of the links down below in the description will directly benefit my channel by a very small profit margin whenever you use those links to buy any products. It helps me be able to make these videos and spend more time on them. So if you'd like to see more better, higher quality and you know, get some new houseplant supplies, make sure to check down the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next houseplant video. And sorry I was so tired. I've been sitting in a classroom for 10 hours. <laughs> and at the end she showed us a movie that just kind of like made me cry a lot. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of like glazed over, but I'm gonna go to the gym, wake up, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. Message me on Instagram if you have any questions about anything, and I'll see you in the next houseplant video. Bye. Also, this variegated cast iron is just like everything I need in life. I wish I had $75 to spend. <laughs> Cause that's such a good deal. So I just left. I wanted to show you guys real quick. I bought this string of pearls. Normally I would show you me buying it, but I didn't know I was gonna buy it. So um, this was only $10. It's just, it's a really nice one. Plus mine kind of just died. So I figure $10 isn't that much and I can justify that right now. Plus I loved having this. I was giving it, I was doing so good with it until I just forgot to water it. So this time I will not forget to water it. Thanks for watching, bye.